Well, I come out here and talk about a lot of our cool new products, but this is one I've got to be I'm going to be honest and tell you I'm I'm more excited than you can imagine because it's been on our long list of things to do. I think we've had a bunch of people order them and we haven't delivered yet. And then lastly, it solves a lot of problems for people with Gen 3 Hemis. On top of all that, it came from the seed of a lot of the products that are really cool in our business that came from a man I met, Dick Bradshaw, 82-year-old pattern maker, that at the very beginning of this business journey, uh, somehow we connected and he had come up with all kinds of clever things he was doing. And of course, the guy's a master pattern maker, knows all these great foundries to work with, just a brilliant guy. He'd been working in years in, a, in a, a day job, but then in the last part of his life, worked in the high performance aftermarket, helping people with clever ideas that he came up with. He made his patterns the old fashioned way, the Bridgeport, a few simple machines in his hand and his brain, and he created some great work. His cylinder head, as an example, this front cover that I'm about to show you, this all came from Dick Bradshaw. The tragic news is that Dick, Dick uh, fell ill right before PRI, was in the hospital while we were at PRI and passed away while we were at PRI. The great news is, as we know, he would, he would love it, that we've carried on his work. In fact, his cylinder head was at PRI, and, and you know, we're closing in on some reiter, you know, revisions to it to improve it further before we go to production with it, but we're close. And on this front cover, this was his design. And there's so many clever features. And it's sad in one way, because after the man passed away, as we started looking at his work and trying to make it better, we, learned, we realized more and more how clever he was and some of the cool features he built into it. So let me share this with you. But let me first share the problem we're trying to solve. This is the problem. This thing is a big, heavy honking front cover that goes on the front of the Gen 3 Hemi and has a big, giant water pump and all this stuff on it. And when you're going to put this in a race car or just a swap into an older car that doesn't have all these accessories and power steering and you have to have it super rigid with zero vibration, you know, you don't need all this stuff. So you either buy one of these and cut all this stuff off and figure out a way to attach motor plates. And then you still got something that's pretty big, pretty heavy, pretty complicated. This baby weighs about 23, 24 pounds. Okay. So we want to do something better because complicated and heavy is the enemy of speed going fast and being reliable. So a much simpler concept was the concept that Dick himself came up with and we've improved several times now. And now we're ready to start making these babies and shipping them. For the people who've been waiting for them, the wait's just about over. We're probably about two weeks from having these in quantity ready to ship to everybody, but we're so excited we want to show it to you now. And it's been improved in several ways, which I'll talk about, but it retains what we always talked about with our race swap front end. It's clever in many ways and that it uses a combination of parts that make it make it easy to adapt it to various things you might want to do. It's much lighter and much simpler. This part weighs nine pounds. And, you know, it's just got all kinds of cool features and, and I'll walk you through those. So if you're going to put a Gen 3 Hemi in a race car, or you're going to put a Gen 3 Hemi in a swap vehicle where you have an alternator and that's about it, uh, this is a fantastic option for you. And it's got a fantastic price, which I'll talk about at the end, just got better. So <clears throat> anyway, here we are. This is the this is our race swap front end. Of course, it has the location for your cam sensor. Uh, you'll notice in the front, if you're a clever, steely-eyed Gen 3 guy, it's got this extra bolt hole up here that isn't supposed to be here. Well, that bolt hole up there is actually to connect a motor plate. And this feature in the front that's all machined flat and nice and smooth and pretty like that, we don't do that just for looks. We machine that flat so we can put a motor plate on here and attach a motor plate. There will be a, a motor plate that's designed to fit this cover. We have a motor plate that is des designed to fit other covers. There'll be one to fit this cover, which will be available about the same time we have these covers available in a week or two. So what, what does it do that's so great? Well, besides getting rid of all that complexity and everything and being lighter, it fits VVT engines, it fits non-VVT engines, it fits just about anything. If you're a turbo guy and you know it's perfect because it doesn't have stuff for blower drives and stuff on it, but it's simple and it works for NA turbo guys, front front driven centrifugal superchargers, all kinds of applications. So you can use it all over the place. It, it works really well for everything. But you can see the water hooks are, are quite different. These water hookups look weird compared to a Gen 3 Hemi. This, this does and this does. And that's done to accommodate commonly available options in the aftermarket. So these are the two water inlets. <coughs> and so you can either hook up inlets and have a remote pump. Or what a lot of people would choose to do is you can use a big block Chevy pump that will hold up. And I'll show you one here in a second. Up here on the top, you have a whole myriad of options in terms of your your inlet so you can use 
these inlets that go this way or this way. You could have a straight on inlet like our good friends, the Big Block Mopar, you know, just like that. That's a Big Block Mopar one. You can have one that's fancy like this with an O-ring in it. You can bolt this baby up there and you can turn it any, way, any which way you want. And it seals with that nice O-ring. Okay, and you can do all those things with, with, that, with that setup the way it is. Now, if you, uh, if you want to do a, a whole water pump assembly, you, there's, there's several options you can do. You can just go with a big block Chevy water pump. And this is one of the many electrical water pumps you can buy. And it bolts up right here. Okay. You can go with another. We've tried two or three of these relatively cost effective big block Chevy water pumps. When I say big block Chevy water pumps, electric water pumps are relatively cost effective. These things are about $150 to $200. So you can bolt this baby up there. This is a different design, slightly different than the other one. This one works. You can use mechanical drive water pumps from big block Chevys on the same bolt pattern also. And if you don't want any water pump up there, you don't want any big black Chevy parts on your Gen 3 Hemi, you can go with these simple adapters that hook up to AN fittings and you can bolt these guys up here and hook your hoses up, okay? So you have all kinds of options to potentially hook up this thing and make it work. Uh, when you order it, you know, of course, it'll be just the cover itself, but just to kind of show you one that's maybe set up for a late model guy, as we're getting into late model engines, we're finding out the rules are, and just the way it works, you really don't have an electric water pump option. So you can just bolt on a simple, this happens to be one of our friends from Holly Parts, we in water pump, you can just bolt on a big block Chevy water pump. You can put this kind of a snout on, all this stuff fits together. You can drive this with a, with a pulley up here. And this whole thing weighs about 10 pounds less than the other thing with the water pump on it. So, so there's lots of things you could do. This is a, an earlier version, it wasn't machined quite the same, but it shows you the fit up of that stuff. So that, that's kind of an example of all the things you can do with it. If you were going to order it today, you're going to discover that it's not the same price, our introductory price. And the good news is, it's not our introductory price, it's 50 bucks lower. This is $349. We were selling it for $399, black powder coated. We realized most people want to spray paint it their own color, they'll just leave it aluminum. Hey, let's just make it cooler, cheaper, and work for most people. So if you ordered one, and you want it black powder coat, we will sell those for $399. But if you want one and you'll spray paint it whatever color you want or you want to leave it aluminum, it's now $349. So what do you get for $349? You get the front cover, you get a brand new Cometic seal kit with a front crank seal and the seal for the back. And of course you get you get you get your uh you get a bolt kit that'll work with it because it's kind of strange. There's a couple bolts, part of the cleverness of it, a couple of these bolts go all the way through stuff on here and go all the way to the back. So a couple of them are extraordinarily long. The rest of them are shorter. <clears throat> if you were going to put a motor plate on it, the motor plate is going to bolt to this top hole, this top hole, this hole, and this hole down here. And we're going to design the motor plate with cutouts so you can put on everything you need to for the water pump. So that's kind of what we're going to offer. It's been way too long coming. I'm, I deeply apologize. Everybody has waited so long, but I couldn't be happier with the way it came out. I'm glad we took a little longer. It's been a little more time going through some design iterations, and now we're ready to turn the foundry loose and start making these babies and the machine shop loose. So in a matter of a week or two here, we're going to be shipping these. And again, now this is not the motor plate, but we'll have a quarter inch aluminum motor plate that will sit right up in here and bolt right up. Obviously, it's got different holes over here to accommodate this big block Chevy flange, but we'll have that available at the, about the same time as we have this available, 349, we'll have one of those motor plates available to go with it for 189 bucks. So once again, we're just trying our best to come to you guys, make your Gen 3 Hemi Power dreams come true. And this Gen 3 Hemi Power dream, or this enabling product for that, came from our good friend, Dick Bradshaw. We hope he's watching up there in heaven. We hope he loves that we worked so hard to bring his stuff to life. And we hope it helps so many of you out there. And we love it that we can drop the price another 50 bucks and bring it to you for 349. Making your Gen 3 Hemi Power dreams come true. Here, where racing expertise meets product innovation, get yours from Blackbird Performance.